Hey Aquarius Collective, we're going to go ahead and get right into this reading. It's going to be very, very general, but this is going to be a channel message, okay? So, what's going on is that congratulations, you guys have learned the lesson. You are closing the chapter, you are closing the cycle, but more importantly, you are spiritually ascending. You, For some of you guys, you could be literally graduating school, getting your master's, getting your doctorate, getting your bachelor's, you know, going to trade school and graduating I don't know if I have any high school people on here, but maybe you're graduating high school. I don't know. Or you're graduating college. Or like I said, you're graduating. You're elevating. You're spiritually ascending. You've passed your spiritual test. You know, you're mixing and you're mastering here. Okay. Or for some of you guys here, um, if you are a musical artist, you have your masters to your music. So nobody can kind of play you. Okay. All right. But like I said, for the whole collective, like I said, you guys are graduating. I'll say also you could be listening to a lot of Kanye West, specifically that song My Way Home or, you know, Devil in a um in a in a new dress or a red dress. I think that's what it's called. Cause I keep hearing put your hands, put your hands together for the something, something, the way you look. Sh Let me see. I'm trying to think of the words. I love that song, but I, I can't think of it. My brain moves so fast. And it goes like, put your hands to the confirmation. The way you look should be a sin. You my sensation. So maybe you look really, really good. Like I said, you having this glow up. People know that you're graduating spiritually. And you that motherfucker. You have two of wands that just came out. So like I said, while you're trying to graduate, you're trying to move forward. You're trying to spiritually ascend here. There could be multiple people or there is one person in particular who is trying to hold you back, who is trying to steal your spotlight, who is trying to, how do you say, uh, not give you your props, not try to give you your flowers, or more importantly, trying to ruin this moment or this day for you yet with the hermit mode energy here. Because I feel like you, for some of you guys, maybe you've been alone, okay, maybe you've been discovering yourself a lot, maybe you've been soul searching, you've been putting in the work, you've been isolating yourself and taking time for yourself, you know, getting things done, getting your priorities done and getting them into alignment. I'm in here and your spiritual team is so proud of y'all okay if they if nobody told y'all i'm proud of y'all okay but yeah ace of wands because there's so much new fresh energy new ideas new business ships or not business ships businesses um and partnerships here coming to fruition but more importantly there are new avenues new windows and new doors as well as new uh networking you know connections etc that are you know being gifted towards you or you know being put in alignment with you and this new version of yourself or this new chapter that is you know uh being how do you say created in the background okay I'm, i know y'all felt that shift it's a shift going on like i said nine of pentacles i feel like you are fulfilled with yourself but like i said the luxuries that you couldn't afford before or the things that are luxury here and it could be something as simple as buying brand names instead of off brand soap and food and clothes and etc you're going to be able to do that you know what i'm saying you're going to be able to, the different luxuries and different things that you weren't able to get before or you weren't able to afford or you weren't you know white enough you weren't black enough or somehow you weren't you didn't qualify and things that you didn't qualify for you're going to start be able to qualify but like i said there is either a group of people or a person in particular trying to hold you back because they have made up in their mind and their mental they have had the clarity and conviction all right that you know you keep persevering you keep moving forward like i said nothing can stop you you're unstoppable and they've made up in their mind that they're feeling froggy so they finish out to leap your way or leap and call some type of reckless energy they're going to take a risk here they're going to try to try you to see if you're actually naive or you know what did you learn all right did you heed the warnings uh, or kind of make you put your spiritual um wisdom your common sense your intuition or your spiritual gifts or even just your talents your skills or whatever you're doing here to work okay or to the test all right yeah like i said with the devil card here the devil's always it's always a new level and a new devil but like i said for some of you guys it's gonna be a new devil for other you guys this motherfucker been here but they've just been hiding in the background or they've just been trying to uh stay out of the what do you call it stay out of the way stay out of your way your energy or more importantly stay out the, the marsh I don't know if you guys have ever been to Six Flags before, but there's like a, it's called like the Monster House or it's some type of boat ride and um, they show like all the monsters and this and that. And I think they have one at Disney, Disney too, where like it's a water ride, you get in the boat, you family, uh, friends, you know, little kids, whatever. And it, and it takes you through like a, a whole entire, whatever it is, like a whole show where different uh, things going on in the tunnel. Yeah. Also, the you know how they used to have the love tunnel back in the day when, like, y'all were younger or, like, in the 80s and the 90s, they had those love tunnels where you would get in the boats on the water and they would take you through and all that other stuff? Yeah. 
like I said, tunnel vision here. This is somebody here who, who trying to like pop out of nowhere, like, ah, oh, got gotcha your ass. Yeah, but with the four of cups, like I said, you make you're making people. I'm also hearing the song. You make me feel brand new. Like you may be feeling brand new, or oh, bitch, nigga, whoever you is, rip you out the motherfucking plastic because you need to be acting brand new. You need to be acting brand new. I don't care who man, you need to be acting brand new. Okay, but like I said with the four of cups here, people are feeling some type of way. They're feeling restricted. They're feeling as if, you know, like I said, they're contemplating. This one person or the people who are working against you, they're contemplating because they're trying to figure out, okay, we can't stop this person, but we can try to ruin their, their graduation. We can't try to ruin their day. We can't try to ruin this. We can try to ruin that. But other than that, we have no power over this person. Like I said, you got the page of wands. See, people are taking the initiative here. Um, they took the time, the energy to explore you, what you like, what you don't like, or to create a playbook about you. Or to, to have or gather a bunch of information to know how to maneuver with you and this and that and how to stop you. But it didn't work before. But like I said, these people here are trying to figure out, okay, you keep progressing. You keep moving forward. Every plan you make, we try to fuck it up. We try to ruin it. We try to do this and that, this and that. And nothing was working. Or nothing is working. And now, it's kind of like, you know, a proper uh, performance. Proper planning prevents poor performance, okay? The five Ps, you may live by that. Like I said, the five Ps is not working in their favor. Whatever they're doing is not P, okay? They're not pushing P. They're not pushing pressure. One thing about pressure, it makes diamonds. And one thing about the Ps, parasites, you need parasites and clams to make pearls, okay? So like I said, this shit ain't stopping now. Nah, these motherfuckers ain't talking about any dangers. They're not talking about nothing, okay? <laughs> and um like i said they want you to give in to the manipulation they want you to feel overwhelmed they want you to feel vulnerable they want to think they, they've hit your soft spots or your sweet spots to make you give in to the situation or what's going on and i just feel like you know you're not giving in you're not procrastinating you know exactly where you're going and these setbacks are not working no setbacks that they're coming up with or they came up with is going to work okay like i said just continue to celebrate yourself because these same people here they have tried to isolate you they try to act reckless here but like i said you're giving yourself the relief or you are relieved of your duties for some of you guys here you could definitely be relieved of something like you don't have to do it anymore you don't have to work there you don't have to stay there you don't have to deal with something anymore you don't have to incur something you don't have to participate in something or you just don't got to be involved with something or somebody like you don't have to no more okay yeah three of swords here and this is breaking their heart. I'm hearing that song. And it kills me to know how much I really love you. You know, it goes like that. And it goes like, sometimes I want to woo Yeah. To you. Yeah, like that's how I feel. Or that's how they feel. Okay, but like I said, with the devil card here, the shrimp card, you're mastering yourself. You've, you've mastered the controls. You're in the pot, You're in the cockpit, okay? Or, you know, you, you, you fly in the plane, babes. There's snakes on the plane, but you fly in the plane and ain't shit stopping it. Okay, yeah, like I said with the King of Wands here, there could even be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Leo, or a Fire sign in particular, or a Capricorn here. You got a Virgo as well, who these motherfuckers are just feeling some type of way, because they can't get in your way, they can't stop you, they can't do nothing. Like I said, they want to try to ruin you or your moment, or not give you your shine, or not give you your flowers here. Let's see how they're going to try to do this. I'm going to pull four times out my little bag over here. Y'all know I got uh, cards for days. I'm just jumbling them around. Because there's so many of them. So let's see how they're trying to ruin the collective's ascension or their graduation here. Yeah, enlightenment. Okay, so why do we have enlightenment here or enlightened? Okay, so somebody can even be trying to make you smoke weed, offer you weed, or, you know, try to say that you're, you're doing drugs. So now you got to take a drug test or now you don't qualify for something because you smoke weed. And even if you do smoke weed, a motherfucker is trying to throw that underneath the bus or throw you underneath the bus with that. Yeah grilling for information somebody's trying to figure out if you smoke weed or not or you know if you do drugs or how can they catch you up if that makes sense let's go ahead and go into the next one here how are they also trying to ruin the collective graduation or ruin their new opportunities ruin their new doors and things that are coming in sorry for them because we do have the cherry card at the bottom of the deck like i said full speed ahead you know the bottle has already hit the boat baby y'all y'all gone like i said the unknown card the egg is already you know the egg is already here we're just waiting for y'all to hatch or it's almost about to hatch they reminds me of the eggs on Pokemon when you got to ride around, and then after they're done, they'll hatch. Okay, let's see what else people are doing here. Yeah, I have finds out, okay? Let's see. The perfect pair, but we don't match. A fake Christian. Okay, so 
also there could be somebody here who's like a fake christian or they act like if they're so holy they're so christian or you know you may be spiritual or you're a different ethnicity uh, not ethnicity or religious beliefs or even race in this person and you know you may find out that this person is trying to use them being a christian or them being holier than thou or their religious beliefs because you know everybody's a christian not not everybody but being a christian and believing in jesus um and all that other stuff that is widespread like even when i'm at work you know people pray over their patients do all type of stuff whatever it is you know it, it, it's a very generalized religion i will say especially in america um but yeah somebody is somebody is like the perfect pair for you this could be like your twin flame your twin ray this could even be like a friend or somebody here that you work really well with but it's like you're finding out that you guys don't match or they don't want to come and see you and what you are. They feel like like that like they feel some type of way because you're not a Christian or you're not going by their religious beliefs or how they feel like things are supposed to be or whatever structures and uh discipline and plans and uh what do you call those things? Um I can't even fucking think of them. Not motives, but um it's at the tip of my motherfucking tongue. Not beliefs, but standards, I guess. That's not the word I'm looking for either, but standards. I'll go ahead and just use that word. Certain standards or um, traditions. Boom, there we go. The certain traditions that they, that they are dealing with or that's been passed down their family line. This person's mad because you're enlightened. Or like, they, they you guys are the perfect pair. But this person is trying to ruin your spiritual ascension or, or your goals or new doors or whatever it is you have coming for you because... They're refusing to match, they're refusing to work with you, or they're refusing to do whatever it is because they're a fake Christian. And by them being a fake Christian, them be the motherfuckers who do the most fucking dirt, in my opinion. Because I've seen it happen many, many times. I'm pretty sure y'all have a bunch of stories for that as well. Um, but anyways, we're going to move next. We're going to move on to the next one here. Who else is trying to hold back? Okay, so Summer. Somebody's name could actually be Summer, okay? Or that song by Childish Gambino could have played. I feel like Summer yeah i have bubbling up makes me think of that young thug song my career about to blast like bubbly i'm not waiting on her to say she love me she fuck with me man trust me 300 on the dashboard running up like i'm time for like okay yeah throbbing okay so hold on heart throb what is this honorable mention hating from the sidelines here so either this is a person or one person in part, a person or people in particular here. The summertime could be a significance. Somebody named could actually be summer here. You know, the summer is co um, coming up. Well, it's, it's really summertime now. Um, but yeah, bubbling up. There's some type of bubbling up or truth or something that's coming up. Like I'm getting throbbing or heart throb. Okay. Um, also, if you watch Adventure Time, the little heart dude named Ricardo or Ricardio, Ricardo, whatever his name is. Well, he was just trying to impress Princess Bubblegum, but in fact, he was doing very distasteful, evil, malicious things to people. Ripping people's body parts apart and putting them on himself so he can be a better man or propose to her, take her on a date, whatever it is. Yeah, hanging from the sidelines. People here who, like I said, they're thriving. But some of you guys, they could be sexually, um, like I said, Meg the Stallion said, y'all don't know if y'all can't fuck with me or y'all want to fuck me. This could be men's and females, okay? With, however you go. Um, for me, it resonates that way. But like I said, um, yeah, people who are hating on you from the sidelines here, they're going to be showing their ass this summer if they haven't showed it last summer. Uh, these are people here that, that they kind of want to hinder you. Fake cheerleaders, fake congratulations, fake news. Okay, fake hey, how you doing? The fake check-ins. These are the individuals I'm talking about. Last straw or last spread here. Okay, so there's a tourist who's trying to hinder you. Yeah, coming. this person wants to come back to you or they want to come back around you, but it's not for love. So if you were questioning about this person coming back to you or you guys are getting back together or whatever it is, this person's not coming back around for love. This could even be a friend. You think they come back around to be your friend or a family member. You think they come around to be whatever they not. Yeah. Oil in their system. This person may drink a lot here, okay? Or like, you know, um, they either drink a lot and then they act differently. Or like I said, they wait till they get around other people or they sigh for other people's energy or whatever it is. And then they try to act as if, you know, they're huff and puff like you know how popeye the sailor man he eats his spinach and then all of a sudden he's boom 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 he's whooping everybody's ass like this is this person here it's like they get oil in their system or get whatever it is that, that makes them feel whatever type of weight here or getting uh, the influence like they 
you know, whatever it is. Last card. Yeah, this person could be a secret informant here. Everything you're telling them, they're going back and telling somebody else. Or everything you're trying to help them with. Or, or, or whatever you're saying. Or sensitive documents, information. Uh, whatever they're saying here. Mm -mm, this person is going back and saying whatever you're saying. Or, or leaking your information here. Also, you may want to get an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement here. Make them sign this so, you know, you can get some money. You can sue their ass. Even if they don't got money, you can get their ass in jail. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I love her. Um, but uh, what's going on here? Uh, last one, auto mention. So, Derek, like I said, for some of you guys, this is a group. So, you are being targeted by a group of individuals here. All right, who are trying to who are trying to hinder you and nothing is working. Yeah, that pussy belongs to me. And this is a group of... Okay, so this is a group of individuals. If you're a female, this is a group of males. If you're a male, this is a group of females. They feel like that dick belongs to them, that pussy belongs to them, or you know, like this is kind of giving me like a mob of crazy fans, and they'll fight each other, but they all want you. Yeah, these people are compulsive liars and thieves here. Like I said, they may have even tried to paint you out to be this. I could be giving up to anybody, but like I said, you may have kept bailing them out, or kept saving them, or even building them out of jail, or kept taking up for these people. Or this group that you were being targeted about or a person in particular. Also, what's going on? Somebody could be trying to make it seem like you're insane or I'm getting plead insanity here. Insanity. Total insanity. Yeah, somebody's trying to tie you up or bind you with you either having a mental illness or about you being insane or trying to drive you insane here. This could be somebody here you thought was your life partner. Or somebody who's trying to stop you from having a life partner or going towards your life partner. Yeah, this could even be somebody's baby father, Okay. Yeah, I don't believe. This person does not believe that you're not crazy. Or they want people to, they want your life partner to believe, or your new partner to believe that, you, that, that you're crazy. That you're insane. Okay? Wow. Okay. Let's see. I want to work things out. So somebody who's trying to work things out, or they claim they want to work things out with you. Let, let's get all the cards out here first. Yeah, non-existent love life. Somebody be listening to Tusi here. Yeah, this person don't even love you. They want to work things out and act like they love you, but now this is love life. This person does not even love you. Yeah, you need to be healing here, or they just want some of your healing energy. They want you to heal them, okay? Yeah, they don't love you. They just want you to heal them. They want you to use your love and this and that and heal them. You need to make sure you're doing a protection ritual here, because then I have the card Dance for You by Beyonce. And I hear her saying, I'ma take this time to show you how much you mean to me. Cause you are all I need. No money can never decide or describe the love that we that's in between something. Boy, look into my eyes when I'm grinding on you. Yeah, this is how I feel. Um, uh, it's beyond sex with you. And it's real, because you know how I feel. Like, this person could be trying to act like that. Or maybe you feel like that, and this is the truth that you need. But like I said, you need to protect your energy or do a protection ritual. Because whoever this is, maybe they don't love you. They just want you to heal them so they can run away and go be healed with somebody else and do whatever the fuck they want to do. Okay? They want you to heal their heart, heal their love life, so they can go find somebody they really love or really care about. All right, but yeah, this is what's going on. Like I said, you are graduating. You're doing your thing here. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some Oracle as well. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and use the New Orleans Oracle deck here. I've been using this a lot lately, and I normally rarely ever use it. Okay, that must be a sign for me to go to New Orleans. Oh, I do want to go there. I have not been there. Let's see. What's the first card we have out? So the number 29, like I said, you have the spiritual knowledge that is bestowed upon you. You took it. You, you passed the test, it, whether it was open book or not. Baby, you passed the test with flying colors. You got all the answers. You spiritually ascending. Or like I said, you're graduating. You're doing your thing here. Like I said, you are calling your power, commanding your power, and standing in your power here. You're very motherfucking powerful. And like I said, you're balancing everything out, and you have learned your lessons you have learned the information you have learned through the cycles you've done everything you need to do all you gotta do now is sit back relax and let everything happen yeah just be successful sit back relax and let all your success come to you okay or let your success continue to overshadow or shine brightly here yeah because i feel like duality as above so below who you was then and who you are now like i said it's from the beginning of the journey and the beginning of the time you went to school the beginning of your Whatever the fuck you doing to now, baby, it's, it's totally different. But like I said, you've done everything you needed to do. Your ancestors is proud of you. Everybody is proud of you. Yeah. Period. 
all right but i will see you all later bye sorry about that aquarius i was i was trying to cook tacos she was asking me did i have all the ingredients i needed um but yeah also somebody who here who's who's weaving a web aquarius this is somebody who does not want a relationship with you or they don't want a relationship period but they want to have they fantasize about having one-on-one -on -one time with you like i don't know if it's just like you in a faith you fucking them or you want um around them or whatever yeah this is somebody here who you hold them accountable for everything they do or like if they on some bullshit you're gonna hold them accountable like they know that you're not going for no bullshit and you're not going for no facades and shit yeah yeah this person was hoping praying and wishing that what that she would hit their line. This person was born in July, August, September, or October. Or these months could be a significance. Yeah, what's, going, what's coming to light here is that this person never wanted a relationship. Or they don't want a relationship with you. They just want to fuck you. They just want to be around you. They just want to eat your sauce up, eat your energy up. Or for some of you guys here, they just want to drain you. They just want to hit your line. They just want to be in your face like a sneaky link. Okay? And it's so funny. Somebody texted me very. So like I said, this is very accurate. Okay, let's go ahead and see what else we have here. So you are blessed, Aquarius, okay? Just know that you are blessed here, but somebody was trying to get in the way of you being blessed or get in the way of your blessings. What's going on? Yeah, under. So a preposition, a prepositional phrase, yeah. Also the song by Boston Richie called Close the Folder could be of significance here because what's going on in this situation here is that Somebody was trying to like have you underneath a spell, under some type of manipulation or control to where you wasn't, you weren't going to be able to close a cycle out here. Yes, yeah, CPS. For some of you guys, this could be like, you know, you're no longer dealing with that baby mama. You're no longer dealing with that baby father. You're divorcing them, whatever it is. And, um, or for some of you guys, this could even be like a parent. If you have a kid, okay, or if you have a younger sibling, you may have closed out the photo. Maybe you're trying to rescue your kids or this person or whatever it is in particular, but. Like I said, somebody, you're so motherfucking blessed here. Somebody was trying to get in the way of your blessings here and was trying to fuck you over. Like I said, somebody could have been trying to call CPS on you, um, Child Protective Services, or they was. Or for other you guys here, like I said, there could have even been somebody who was faking a pregnancy. And that child is not even a child. Okay, it can go so many different ways. Yeah, so I'm seeing a situation where either somebody could have a younger sibling or someone at the home. And you're trying to rescue the sibling here and somebody's trying to manipulate you or make it hard for you to close out that chapter. Also, somebody here who could have been faking a pregnancy here, okay, if you're a man or if you're dealing with somebody or um, if you're, you're masculine or had somebody around that was faking a pregnancy, that chapter is closing or somebody was trying to fake a pregnancy so the chapter don't close. Um, for other you guys here, like I said, CPS. Somebody could even try to call CPS on you like, oh, you're not taking my kids or you're not going to do this or you're not going to do that or whatever the fuck it is here out of, out of jealousy, out of pain and stuff, okay? Last one. Okay, so what a web we weave. What's going on here? Let's see. Okay, so gang stalking here. Norbert and Respucia. So you could be Norbert in the situation, Aquarius, and somebody else is Respucia, okay? Doing anything to keep you away from your true love, your soulmate. And for some of you guys here, yeah, just like treating you bad, treating you rude, thinking they can control you, use you, and abuse you here. And you're never going to go nowhere or leave them. Yeah, whoever this person is, was. This person is hiding behind fake accounts and they're gang stalking you. Like how like how Respucia was stalking Norbert when he was with Kate. And she couldn't find him. Yeah, on the case. This person is building a case against you. Or they have a whole case. Like they have more information than you think here. This person could be an emotional roller coaster or like up and down, up and down, up and down. This person wanna come around, they don't want to come around. Like I said, you, you every time they go up and down, you maneuvering them like the song Maneuvering by Kodak Black. I love that song. You know, he's a Gemini by the way. We just had the new moon in Gemini. Yeah. Yeah, I have make somebody feel better than I have in the book. So, like I said, um, this person here, like, you make them feel better. You make them feel like they're worth the damn. But I feel like they have, they have done too fucking much. You don't, you're just going to feel like, you not feel like, you're just going to figure out that they're stalking you, they're gang stalking you, they got everybody in their feeling, and everybody around them stalking you. It says, let me look you up and down. Like I said, this person is sexually attracted towards you, but it's like, they won't treat you right, but they won't let you go. They won't leave you alone. Yeah, throat chakra is blocked. Maybe they're not saying what they want to say here. They're not saying it with their chest. Are they trying to block your throat chakra so you can, like, endure uh, domestic violence or anything like that that you're going through? Yeah, a fight breaks out. You could have gotten into a fight with this person. Okay. Or maybe they got into a fight with one of your lovers or your or your, or your new person. Yeah, lavender. Somebody's name could be lavender or the color that color purple could be a significance or the movie color purple. Um, But, yeah, watch, watch it. Watch it. 
drip out of you. Like I said, this person may, may like to watch you uh, after you're sexually done getting it off here. Or like I said, they like to watch you ooze. It could be like ooze energy. It could, it could be like they like to watch you cry. Or they like to somehow watch some type of secretion come out of you, okay? Because um, it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they have power over you or it gives them type of satisfaction, okay? But yeah, like I said, these are not all the webs that are being weaved here of deception. But like I said, these are the ones that I had right now. I'm going to pull two cards out of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and end the reading so I can go on to the next one. Um, so we have Deep. I'm hearing that song, Run That Money Your Way. Uh, Life Ain't Sweet Ain't No Something. Okay, so also what's going on is somebody could have... A web that somebody was weaving is that somebody was signing your signature. This could be like on a check, on a paperwork, on an insurance claim or something here that you needed your signature or needed to sign off on or verify that you've seen or read a contract in particular. Somebody has forged your signature. If there was some type of money or inheritance uh, for you here, somebody either forged your contract or went around you here. Yeah, getting rid of everything and they wanted to get rid of the evidence here, but it will be coming back up, okay? All right, but this was the reading. I hope you did love it, and I will see you all later. Bye.